Hello everyone, today we are returning to The Legend of Korra. We are going to watch episode 2 of season 2 and this episode is called The Southern Lights. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm pumped up to learn that Unalak spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. We're going to one of the most remote places in the world, the South Pole. By neglecting the spirits, the people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves. We must set things right. A dangerous trip to the South Pole? Count me in. She's all about that fighting, that danger. Ooh, and the air the temples. Air temple. Isn't it magnificent? Yes, it is. Master Tenzin, welcome. Good to see you again, Abbot Shung. Please accept these gifts. This is an ancient airbender head shaver we've refurbished just for you. Oh. That looks scary. These flowers once filled the mountainside. Y you didn't have to. Nonsense. Mommy, Daddy, look. I finally got a lemur. I'm going <laughs> to name him Pokey. Pokey? Yes, Pokey. Let's keep him. <sighs> Excuse me, a little help here? Sorry, I thought you were the servants. We're Tenzin's brother and sister. The world is filled with more airbenders? We're not airbenders. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aww. They could be waterbenders or non-benders. I heard you're taking Korra to the South Pole. I'm coming. You're a distraction to Korra and a hindrance. She needs someone to watch after her. Why do you always think you know what's best for me? The sad truth is it's men like your father who have put the spirit world out of balance. Damn. What happened in the past? It doesn't matter. What matters is the Everstorm. I'm coming. What happened between these two brothers? Is that you, Bolin? <laughs> Check it out. Um, uh, where'd you get the ride? Varric, he's awesome. He also gave me this fancy snowsuit. It's inflatable with an internal heater, emergency beacon, and food ration pouch. Oh, these two as well? Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? <laughs> I think those two are inseparable. Like, yeah, it's going to be a lively trip so once we get to the south pole then what happens you will open an ancient spirit portal if you can open the portal in time balance will be restored there's a reason the glacier spirits festival ends on the winter solstice and that's when the spirit world and the physical world are close together only then can the avatar open the portal and we can't afford to wait another year what are those dark spirits that's spooky. Uncle, why do you think the dark spirits are following us? Can we not talk about dark spirits, please? Don't worry. I will protect you, my feeble turtle duck. He's a turtle duck to her. <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered how your father ended up in the South Pole? Unalak, this is not the time. I want to know. I left the North Pole because I was banished. Why? Because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. What? I was a general in the Northern Water Tribe. Brother, we're being attacked! I drove them out of the city and deep into the frozen tundra. We tracked them deep into an ancient forest. Many believed this forest was the home to spirits. They thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. They thought wrong. Oh. So they came and did violence in the spirit's territory? But in the process, we destroyed the forest. Oh. I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Oh, well, these spirits look cool. They have such interesting designs. Look at this guy. Fish guy. Unalak was able to guide the spirits back to the forest. For being the cause of so much devastation, my father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. So he screwed up. He, admit, he, he admits he screws up. His brother was correct back then. Why is he so upset about his brother? And not listening. The past is being repeated. Now in the South Pole. Or the Southern Tribe. Why do you keep hiding things from me and then telling me it's for my own protection? I'm tired of you protecting me. Cora. Her dad is not being painted in a very 
Good light right now. Wow, the statue room. Here you will find statues of every avatar who ever lived. And Aang too? Where are your brother and sister? I'm the greatest air skater of all time! Milo! Did he break one of the statues? Aang's so handsome. Hmm? She sensed something? Cora, you have every right to be mad at me. I'd say she but does. But I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. I should have never gone into that forest. Spirit and the physical world should remain separate. Dad, it's my job to be the bridge between the spirits and the physical world. Yeah. You don't even know if what Unalak says is true. Where I'm from, the spirits are at peace and they light up the dark. The Northern Lights? Yes. When the war ended, the North helped to rebuild you physically. But we have not rebuilt you spiritually. I think we're here! I think we should listen to Unalak, what he's saying. I don't think he's been wrong yet. The weather's getting very dangerous. Oh! Oh, they're so cool! Coral, look out! Oh, it's in the engine! <laughs> oh no, Bolin! <laughs> she trying to calm it? Oh, well, she, she tried! Whoa, them teeth! Is everyone okay? Ah! Ah! I can't stop it! I'll save you. Ah! <laughs> I'm a raft! <laughs> I'm a raft. Man, these two are just... They are... No pun intended. They are cool. Like, they're just like... So chill. Uh, can someone please deflate me? <laughs> Thank you. Why are they so emotionless, though? This mission is too dangerous. We're leaving. No, Dad. You're leaving. Damn. Jeez. Don't worry, sir. I'll keep an eye on Cora for you. Thank you, Marco. He's just gonna take it and leave like that? Let's open this portal and lead your father and the entire Southern Water Tribe in the right direction. Aw, Bolin lost his fun little ride. Now he's pouting. So, what exactly were you and my dad talking about? Nothing. You know, sometimes I wonder whose side you're on. What did Mako do this time? We've arrived. Man, she's so mean to Mako. Trees frozen in ice. You must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies. The Avatar must go alone. But I don't have any connection with the spirits. You have to believe in yourself. Like I believe in you. I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. Ah. Wait here. I'll be okay. Good luck. I guess it is kind of a night and day difference from how, uh, I don't know, Tenzin was just very pushy and controlling, I guess, in a way. Not that he was trying to do harm, but this is just different. The way Unalak handles her and... Hmm. But she doesn't know how to deal with the spirits. The spirit portal. <gasps> oh, right. She sensed something or someone. <gasps> what avatar is this? The light in the dark. So what is what did he say she's supposed to do again? Why isn't it opening? Come on, portal, open! I don't think 
You're not supposed to do it by force. She needs to act like the opposite of how she instinctively wants to act. Okay, the avatar state helped. Ooh. Spirits dancing in the sky. That's cool. What's this all about? I can't believe it. It's beautiful. But I thought she was gonna find like some kind of peaceful connection not she did it <sighs> hey Cora's back i'm just not really sure what why are you initiating physical contact with another woman <laughs> everything you said is true oh Marco. thanks i'm really sorry for being a total pain yeah you've been a real jerk lately it's hard being the Avatar. It's harder being the Avatar's boyfriend. I'll say. <laughs> Aw, he really loves her. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put up with that shit. <laughs> what is this? Who are they? Are they friendly? They don't look friendly. What are all your northern troops doing here? There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. This seems like an invasion. That's a bit concerning. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts about that. One, Mako is very, very patient with Korra. Like, how is he so incredibly sweet and understanding? He really, really, he really digs her because she has just been kind of really bitchy to him and he just takes it and, and he's, he accepts her apology and then they move on until she does it again. I hope she gets better about that. But I guess, I mean, I guess she's going through a lot. It is tough being the Avatar's boyfriend. I wonder why, and I keep forgetting his name, but I'll get it eventually. Korra's dad is so angry with his brother when, from what I'm gathering is that he was the one that was fault. Like her dad did something really bad, angered the spirits, almost destroyed the Northern Water Tribe, was banished, and his brother was right. Unalak was right the whole time. And Unalak knows, seems to know, the correct way to deal with the spirits, not to anger them, don't fight them, live with them peacefully, coexist with them. So why does he hate Unalak so much? I'm not asking questions that I necessarily want answers to. I'm just... I want to share with you guys my questions and my thoughts as I'm going through, but I'm sure that things are going to be explained more. They definitely have a rocky relationship, but Korra's dad seems just very stubborn. And even when he made mistakes in the past, he doesn't seem to want to accept help and accept guidance from his brother about these things, which seems kind of strange. But... We also see this kind of invasion looking thing. And so maybe we're going to learn more next episode. Some things that maybe Korra's dad knows about Unalak and maybe the Northern Water Tribe that could be not great. More secrets hidden from Korra and ourselves at this point as the audience. The two children of Unalak, the brother and sister, they are... As I said last time, they're, they're very entertaining. They kind of remind me of, since I'm watching Star Trek alongside of watching Korra, they remind me of like Vulcans. Like they're just kind of logical. They see things from a completely unemotional perspective from what I am seeing so far. And I'm very entertained by them. What's going on in the air temple? 
with Tenzin's older daughter. I need to start like making a list of these names so I can recall them because I'm having trouble with some of the names, but uh, Tenzin's elder daughter, what's going on with uh, that statue? Very curious about that. I'm sure we're going to learn more about that soon. So that's very exciting. And lastly, I'm not really sure exactly what Korra did in the South Pole. She couldn't break the barrier. She used the Avatar state, which I guess she just... In order to go into the avatar state, you have to have a spiritual connection with the past avatars. And I guess it's something that only the avatar can do. I kind of missed the initial explanation of what they were setting out to do. So I'll probably just have to go back and rewatch that um, part. And I really hope that Korra's training with Unalak continues to go seemingly well, but I'm just... I've never been able to fully trust him ever since we met him. I just always feel this looming like there's something that might end up going wrong. And I just can't really put my finger on it. But for the most part, he seems really knowledgeable, a good teacher, like he can teach Korra a lot of things. And I'm leaning towards wanting to really trust him, but also like there's just this kind of like doubt little 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 seed of doubt in me about him as well so we will see where the conflict comes is it going to come from unalak and the northern water tribe or is it going to come from some other external source because there's got to be some kind of conflict that happens soon some kind of thing that cora will have to overcome some enemy to fight or you know something so we'll see. Until next time, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.